Now, I also thought this was a very interesting post to note. This comes from Fox, actually, and it talks about, the, of course, North Korean propaganda. But amid the hurricanes and the tropical storms and the earthquakes and the tremors and the record wildfires that we're seeing, they just so happen to come out with this article that says millions of American lives could be at stake as North Korea threatens to attack power grid. And we know darn well that it's not North Korea whatsoever. It's just more propaganda, problem, reaction, solution. Not to mention that North Korea is a rogue nation. Because North Korea refuses to accept the Rothschild Bank in their country. And that's why the elite and the Zionists are targeting that nation and trying to demonize them any way, shape, or form that they can. But we know they control both sides of it. And we know who's really behind the power grids and the power outages, as I've just shown you. It's all propaganda and it's all conditioning for their plans in the elite and the New World Order's order out of chaos agenda. Just like how they manipulate and control the weather via HARP and CERN and many other alphabet soup government organizations. And if you do not believe me, maybe you'll believe the director of the CIA from the Council on Foreign Relations. And maybe you'll believe what your government alphabet soups are actually telling you the truth right in front of you. Another example is the array of technologies, often referred to collectively as geoengineering that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI. Is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI. A method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat. A method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat in much the same way that volcanic eruptions do. An SAI program could limit global temperature increases, reducing some risks associated with higher temperatures and providing the world economy additional time to transition from fossil fuels. This process is also relatively inexpensive. The National Research, Research Council estimates that a fully deployed SAI program would cost about $10 billion yearly. As promising as it may be, moving forward on SAI would also raise a number of challenges for our government and for the international community. On the technical side, greenhouse gas emission reductions would still have to accompany SAI to address other climate change effects, such as ocean acidification, because SAI alone would not remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. On the geopolitical side, the technology's potential to alter weather patterns and benefit certain regions of the world at the expense of other regions could trigger sharp opposition by some nations. Others might seize on SAI's benefits and back away from their commitment to carbon dioxide reductions. And as with other breakthrough technologies, global norms and standards are lacking to guide the deployment and implementation of SAI and other geoengineering initiatives. You understand politics, you think you understand political parties, you're all full of crap, you don't know what the Illuminati is, you can be Republican or you're Democrat, you're wrong! Why? It's this easy, it's called divide and conquer. That's why there's two parties and only two. And they're controlled by the same people at the very top who belong to the Council of Foreign Relations, the Bilderberger Group, they also belong to the Trilateral Commission, and you people don't even know what the hell that is. But if you did know, you would know that these are the people that control your world by making global policies that you never vote on and by which parties both serve and belong to these organizations and control your world. Now, here's how it works. Really easy. Divide and conquer can only work if the people that are divided are not aware of the falsely created division. If you're not aware of it, then it works. If you know about it, then it don't work no more. If you have socialism without capitalism, it becomes communism. If you have capitalism without socialism, it becomes fascism. And it's just that easy. I love you. That's all you need to know. That's why Masonic symbols are all over your freaking money. But you don't pay any attention. Ridiculous. <laughs>
Now, as I've talked about in previous video, who is the Council on Foreign Relations, in case you've never heard of that organization, or all the other ones like the Bilderbergs and the Club of Rome and et cetera, the Trilateral Commission, the CFR, what do they do? They're a group of elite Zionist terrorists at the very top who come together and talk about what? How they plan to enslave the population more and more for their what? Agendas and plans of the New World Order. And just as you've just heard, what do they do? They talk about how they they seed the air with cloud seeding and iodide crystals and how they manipulate the weather for their plan. And of course, they claim that, oh, it's because of climate change and oh, because of global warming, they're doing this, but they're actually doing it for what? World control. Just ask Vietnam and Operation Popeye how they manipulated the weather in order to do what? To manipulate the weather in East Asia during the Vietnam War. Kissinger and all those other ones, they all come together. It's the satanic elite coming together to talk about worldwide depopulation tactics as per the UN's agenda of what? Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, Operation Depopulation.